While you're on hudking.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or put a zip code or street name in the search bar to see other real virtual tours. We are here at 3515 Sage Meadow. That's 3515 Sage Meadow in the Lakeside subdivision. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. Built in 2005, it's a little over 2,070 square feet. It sits on about a 5,100 square foot lot. The exterior is a combination of wood and hardy plank siding. And exterior wise, there is a little brick along the front. It's in good condition. It's missing a few pieces of brick on the trim here. And it is missing a side fence and a side gate. But other than that, the good thing about hardy plank siding is that it's very low maintenance, very easy to take care of, and extremely durable. There is a shed in the backyard. As you can see, the neighbors have propped up this, this fence here, it's leaning a little bit, missing a few slats on the back and a few on the side. There's a rose bush there. Yeah, the exterior wise, like I said, it's in decent condition. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or a power washing. And you have this big slab here. Do whatever you like with that. Construct a nice covered patio. A few pieces of the wood trim are coming undone, so you want to reattach that, maybe seal it and caulk it. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we walk in, you are immediately into a big combined living and dining room. And it's going to need carpet. The entryway does have ceramic tile, and there's a small storage area right behind the front door. You could put a little table there or a lamp so you can put your keys when you walk in. All three bedrooms are going to be upstairs. Once again, this home is a little over 2,070 square feet, and it was built in 2005. So downstairs, definitely, you're going to want to replace the carpet and put a fresh coat of paint in. Maybe repair a few small pieces of the wall. You can see that's damaged there. Should be a half bathroom here downstairs, so when your guests need to use the bathroom, you don't have to go upstairs. It's a commode and single vanity with linoleum tile. And once again, I mentioned this is a combined living and dining area. You could do your dining here. And then you have a big open kitchen. And the kitchen even has enough space to put like a small breakfast table there if you wanted to have a little breakfast area in the kitchen and do most of your dining there. Fair amount of countertop space and cabinets. You have an indoor utility room that doubles over as your pantry. So your wash and dryer connections go here. And you have your pantry and water heater here. And then we have your two-car garage. I'm sorry, your one-car garage, which is a standard one-car garage. It's been finished out. Pretty basic. Now, one other thing that you'll need to do downstairs is, as you can see around this door, it's going to need a little bit of trim work. It looks like maybe some water got in and they pulled out the, the uh, linoleum or the carpet here. But you'll want to just make sure that that gets addressed so that you don't have water coming in whenever it rains. Now we will look at the three bedrooms which are all located upstairs and the two bathrooms. Now it does look like the carpet is going to need to be replaced upstairs also. It looks pretty stained. So when you get upstairs, if we pan to the right you have an upstairs living area which is nice. It's not a huge room but it looks like it's about a probably about a 17 by 17 space. We come to the front of the home. The front of the home is where you're going to have your master bedroom, which is the largest of all the bedrooms. You're going to want to put a fresh coat of paint and replace the carpet. We have your master bath here. Now this is a good size master bathroom. And on some of these floor plans, there's a separate shower and tub. They didn't opt for it on this one, but that's where the shower normally goes. Now you get to use that. It's like a little sitting or changing area. You have a combo garden tub and shower your commode, and then your big walk-in closet. It's a good size walk-in closet for a home of this square footage. You have dual vanities, and the master bath has linoleum flooring. You could leave it, it doesn't need to be replaced, or you could upgrade it to tile if you like. Continue down the hallway, and we have bedroom number two at the rear of the home. Good size bedroom, probably about, a, probably about an 18 by 18. Bedroom's going to need a fresh coat of paint and maybe replace the carpet. There's a walk-in closet there. And then we have, last but certainly not least, bedroom number three. This bedroom is at the back corner of the house. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint. It's going to need some carpeting 
and maybe a tiny bit of trim work. There's a little piece of the trim that's damaged, but it's very, very minor. You have a couple of windows in this bedroom, which gives it a lot of light. And then lastly, we have the bat bathroom number two, which is the bathroom for the other two bedrooms. It has a shower and tub combo, a single vanity and a commode, and it has linoleum flooring. So not a bad home, guys. All it really needs is a fresh coat of paint, touch up a little bit of the sheetrock, some small holes in it, and flooring, carpeting and painting, and a tiny bit of trim work, but that's very, very minor. And this home is 4,000 underneath the county appraisal, so let me give you a formal summary. There it is, guys, 3515 Sage Meadow. That's 3515 Sage Meadow. A very cute three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. This home is over 2,000 square feet. It was built in 2005, and as you see, it needs a little bit of painting, a little bit of carpeting, and a tiny bit of sheetrock work, but that's not very much when you consider that you can buy this home and have your payments under $900 a month. So guys, if you don't have a realtor and you're interested in this home, it's listed right now for only $85,000, and I'd like you to call me. You guys can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.